Finally, it's one of the fondest wishes of childhood. Remember getting your own bicycle and all the freedom that came with it? But some kids need the kind of bikes that are far too expensive for their parents to afford. As our Janet Shamlian explains, that's where one generous man is making a difference. When she's on her bike, Izzy is like any other five-year-old. Do you want to see me ride it? I would love to see you ride it. Happy, <laughs> confident, even a little bossy. Now, camera. But away from her wheels, Izzy lives in a world where almost everything has to be done for her. Izzy begged her grandmother for a bike. But one made for her special needs cost thousands. It was only a dream. Almost by accident, slide this on this track. they found Andrew McClendon. Some children don't have one condition, they have four. They don't have three doctors, they have 12. There we go. Moved by their challenges, the Baton Rouge businessman spends all of his free time creating moments like this. McLinden buys adaptive bikes and gives them away to kids like Izzy. These bikes change lives. It just is so amazingly powerful. There we go. With 30 children still waiting, his 90th bike is going to Aiden. Fast, fast, fast. Go, go, go. The five-year-old has cerebral palsy, a brain injury, and now a tool he sees as a toy. What difference do you think this will make for his quality of life? Oh, I think this is going to be a step towards us walking and running one day. The bikes help build strength, but as important, oh. what they do for a child emotionally. Izzy is part of the gang. I like to ride it all the time. The power of a set of wheels, delivering the feeling of freedom. Wow. Wow. Janet Shamley and NBC News, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Hey NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.